Welcome to the old Loomis channel again. I'm going to uh, take a few minutes here to show how I reflow uh, an emitter onto a star. This is a uh, Cree XPG star, 16 millimeter, and the emitter is a uh, Nietzsche uh, 219, and it is one tiny son of a gun. Very hard to deal with for me. Um, to know where the uh, positive and negative are on this, when you look on the back side, you'll see uh, you'll see that I don't know if you, if I can show you, but there's three strips on it. There's the center strip underneath the LED itself, then the positive and negative. The way I tell on these is there is a black triangle marked on one corner of that LED and that is a negative. That black triangle is a negative. So what I'm going to do now is set up this uh, vise so I can get this star ready to put uh, the LED on it and reflow it in. Okay, I'm going to readjust my uh, zoom here to try to get up as close as I can. I won't be able to get super close because this does not uh, take kindly to uh, uh, zooming in. There, see, I'm in fuzzy now, so that's about the best I'm going to get. Anyways, uh, there is solder on this star right now, but I found that it doesn't seem to be enough. So I have my uh, uh, soldering gun already warmed up. This unit that, that I was uh, uh, that was given to me by a member uh, of the forum uh, is a, a really good unit because it gives you temperature and it has, this has there's a fantastic tip on here. I'm, I'm using a, a Radio Shack tip and uh, uh, tip tinner and cleaner first, and then the solder I'm, I'm running is uh, Radio Shack uh, Rosin Core 6040-032 diameter. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, take and just put a little heat on, on each one of the contact surface you can see how badly I'll shake too and and just try to flow just a tiny bit of solder onto that and there's too much need to get rid of that Okay, I've got solder on all three of the strips, and I just need to look at my positive and negative on that LED. I'm going to get it in position and try to get it centered as, as best I can on here. This is enough to make you not want to do these. Believe me. It's a, for somebody who doesn't have a lot of patience, and I don't have a lot of patience, uh, it's very frustrating. I'm going to put some solder on my tip too now. And I'm going to go underneath. Okay. 
and I'm going to heat until I see that star settle down, or I mean the, the LED settle down on the star. Okay. It, it's something I can't show you with this camera, but when it gets to the point with the right heat, the star just settles right onto the the LED settles on the star. Okay. Now, that's that's what I do to cool it off. I just blow on it a little bit. It's, it's going to take a little bit to cool off. Uh, my soldering iron is set around 790 degrees. Uh, that's that's from the LED readout on that unit. I'm at about 790 degrees. Now we're still a little warm, but but probably cool enough that I can pick this up. <laughs> Cools off pretty fast, but um, I'll zoom back up here, or back off the zoom, and that is the LED on the star. Um, I would say it's as simple as that, but I'll tell you what, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's hard. Um, now, you can see already, if, and I don't know that you'd be able to see, but these stars are pure white. When, when I do the reflow my way, you can see in the top uh, plastic coated or paint layer, uh, protective layer, that the, the three runs, the center, the positive, and the negative, have discolored a little bit, which I would say suggests that I probably got a little bit too much heat. Um, I haven't discolored the emitter, and I don't. Uh, I haven't had one yet that's uh, that's ruined from that. But uh, I think hot air uh, reflow is probably a, a better way to do it. And quote unquote, right now with this unit, I have the capability, but I just need to learn. <laughs> so I'm still doing it the old way, and and uh, just wanted to give you an idea of, of how I do it and at least it's a suggestion that you could try. All right. Thanks for watching.